Thank you so much for being here this morning. We are going to get started with a little warm-up. We're here for some Pilates flow. Uh, we're coming to the end of our mat to start today. So let's just settle in at one end of your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center and push them into each other, sending your elbows out wide, pushing your hands into each other, really just connecting with them. And let's just close our eyes for a second. Doing a little scan up from the feet. So notice your feet, plant all your toes down on the floor, really pressing them down. Scrunch your toes a couple of times and just find that little bit of an arch, creating a little bit of space underneath your feet. And then let's just uh, follow that up into the knees and just bending your knees a little bit, both of them, giving them a little bit of a a little bit of movement. And then following that up into the hips, just noticing your pelvis, where it's placed in space. Let's just do a couple of standing pelvic tilts. Just checking in with where your hips are. You want to feel like you have a nice neutral lower back. And then the rib cage sitting right on top of the hips. The shoulders are going to draw down and the top of the head reaches up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Just getting really present on the mat. Exhale. All the air out to the very end. One more time. Big breath in to the top of your lungs. Exhale. All the air out. Letting your arms drop, opening up your eyes. Let's start with chin to chest, and then floating the chin to the ceiling. Chin to chest, and up to the ceiling one more time. And we're gonna start with some global circles, looking over to your right shoulder, coming back and behind, floating the chin up to the ceiling, coming across to the left shoulder, and again to the right. Dropping that ear behind the shoulder. And let's go two to the other side. Look left. Look right. Coming through center. Letting the head sit right on top of the shoulders. Bringing your arms in nice and square. Let's roll through our shoulder blades. Up to the ears, squeeze it back, pull it down. Make these moves really specific. And let's go three the other way. Mobilizing the upper back. And then creating a whole bunch of space between the ear and the shoulder. Let's start some arm circles. Big and wide, start to draw in through your tummy. Everything stays still. And we're just moving at the shoulder. And let's go the other way. Being mindful of the rib cage as the arms go overhead. Last one. Nod the chin. Soften through the chest. Draw up through the abdominals. And forward fold. Nice and slow with this first one. Imagine you have two a weight in each hand. Coming down into our forward fold, bending the knees. Exhale as you ragdoll up, coming through the legs. First, like you're dragging those two weights back up off the floor. Stacking your spine, rolling your shoulders at the top. And let's go back down. Nod the chin, soften the sternum. Lift up through the abdominals. Those weights are now pulling you down. Lift, lift, lift through the abdominals. Take a breath at the bottom, inhale, exhale, coming back, imagining that you're pulling those weights up until your spine starts to stack, rolling your shoulders at the top one more time, nod the chin, rolling down. When we get to the bottom of this one, bringing your hands as close to the floor as you can, if you can touch the floor, just lift your fingertips um, rest on the floor. Let's bend the knees quite deeply and extend the legs, sending the sit bones up. And bend 
and extend one more time, bend and extend, bring your hands to your shins, pushing back into your shins with quite a lot of pressure, reach your spine up nice and long. Finding that halfway lift, we're going to hang out here for a minute, sending your sit bones way behind you, reaching your spine long, draw your shoulder blades down away from the ears. Let's start to move our arms, one at a time, reaching overhead. We have a bend in the knees, and everything stays exactly the same as we move through the shoulders. Long breaths. Just checking in. Making sure you still feel all your toes planted on the floor. And one more time here. Forward fold, soften. Let your head be heavy. Walking your hands out to a downward dog. When you find that nice triangular shape, dig your fingertips into the floor and start to pedal out your feet, lifting the abdominals, sending the sit bones floating up to the ceiling. Nice strong shoulders here. Let's think about the underarm muscles, letting your shoulder blades wrap around your rib cage, keeping space between the ear and the shoulder. A couple more here, just getting nice length through the calf, through the hamstring. Let's bring both heels up. And then gently releasing both heels to the floor, we hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering the knees, finding a nice square position. Untuck the toes. Hands come under shoulders. Knees are under hips. Reach your spine long, lifting the abdominals. Let's go up into a cat stretch, pushing the floor away, tucking the tailbone, rounding your spine. Big breath at the top, inhale. Exhale, unravel your spine. We're going to head all the way through to cow pose. Allowing the tummy to drop a little, letting the chest float open. And then coming back through, exhaling our way up into cat. And unraveling <clears throat> back to our cow. This time, really use the abdominals. Make sure they're working for you as you head back up to cat. Use your abs. Imagine you're curling up into a sit-up, rounding up, lifting the back of your rib cage to the ceiling. Inhale, unravel back into cow. Make sure you feel that chest open. And one more time. Up. And back. Let's find a neutral spine here. So we're going to keep it nice and long. We're going to step out to plank. If plank isn't working for you, you're going to keep one knee down nice and square and do everything else the same. Finding our plank, let's perfect the upper body. Reach through the heels. Press down through your hands, staying strong in the shoulders. Reach the crown of your head, keeping your head in line with your spine. Lifting the hips just a little to keep them from sagging down. Draw in through the abdominals. Press your fingertips into the floor. Start thinking about your right leg. We're going to bring that right leg forward on the outside of your right foot. Step it forward. It might be a little awkward. And then lower the back knee. We're getting a nice big stretch here. We're going to start to move through our rotation. Open and back. I'm bringing my hand to tap right in front of my other hand. Rotating open, you should be getting a nice big stretch here through the hamstring, through the hip flexor. We're hanging out here, twisting around your belly button. Can you draw in through your abs just a little more? Nice work. Notice that your upper body is moving, your lower body is your anchor here. And let's do two more. And last one. 
Hands come back to the floor. Now this might seem a little awkward to get back to plank. Just do however you can. Engage the back leg and step that leg back into our perfect plank. Reaching through the crown of your head, reaching through your heels. We're still holding plank. Let's perfect it again. Reach through the heels. Top of the head, it's like a tug of war between those two areas. When you're ready, you're gonna start thinking about your left leg. Step that left leg forward, lowering the back knee. And we're into our rotations here. Feeling a nice openness through the chest. Length in the back of the front leg, length in the front of the back leg. Making sure your abdominals are with you. Twisting around that belly button. Last two. Pushing down through the standing arm. Bring the hands back. Engage that back leg. And stepping back to our plank. Now from here we're gonna start to move a little bit faster. We're gonna step the right foot forward. And then bring the left leg forward. Coming to a low crouch. We're here, bringing your hands up, lift your toes up so that you've got your weight in your heels. Hands go back to the floor, stepping back to our plank. Strong plank, if you need that knee down, that's totally fine. Just keep everything else the same. Let's go with the left foot forward, stepping that left foot forward, bringing the right one up, we're in our low crouch, holding. Have you guys frozen? Can you see me? I feel like everyone's frozen. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, you guys can see me? Okay. Okay. Great. It just seemed like everyone had stopped on my screen. <laughs> okay, so let's come back to that. Um, low crouch, when you're ready, hands come back down, we step back out, finding our perfect plank, lift your abdominals, long spine, we're going to do that one more time with the right, step that right foot forward, then the left, coming to our low crouch, holding, hands come down, stepping back, perfect plank, reaching through the body, and now last time, left foot forward, right foot forward, low crouch, holding. Lift your chest, draw in through your tummy. Hands come down, stepping it back, final plank. Holding there, push your fingertips into the floor, lift your head and bring it back just a little. Big inhale, big exhale. Lowering your knees, taking a shell stretch. Big breath in and out. <sighs> Noticing your heartbeat. Noticing the warmth in your body. And then meeting me out in our, on our forearms. Nice square elbows. Elbows are under shoulders, knees are under hips. It's going to feel like your bum is up in the air. Bring your abdominals up and connect with them. The arm, look at the shape of your arm right now, that square shape. It's going to stay square as we move here. Float the right arm up. Bring it back. Left arm floats. Bring it back. From here, we go into a tricep press, pushing your hands down, lifting your arms straight, lower them down with control. We're gonna pick up the pace. Right arm floats, squeeze the back of the shoulder, and down. Left arm floats, stay square. Now tricep press, and lower. The whole time, your torso is staying the same shape, your abdominals are staying on and press. 
Lower with control. Floating up. And left arm floats. And press. And float. And float. And press. Checking in with your abdominals. Checking in with the shape of your spine. Nice long spine here. And press. Two more times. Squeeze the back of the shoulder, and down, and tricep press. One more round, squeeze it back, keep the abdominals on, and tricep press. Lowering down, squaring off. Let's come into some scapular presses. You're going to allow your spine to glide down between the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades come close to each other. Exhale, we press up. We lower down. So this is a very small, subtle movement. We're using all the muscles that surround your shoulder blade. We allow the torso, the chest to lower between the shoulders. And then exhale, press the floor away, strong shoulders. Four more, lower. Exhale, press. And down. And press. Last two. You should feel all the muscles around your shoulder blades working here. Keep your head in line with your spine. Last one. Taking a shell stretch. Making your way out to your tummy. So let's let the legs go a little bit wide here. If they want to turn out a little bit, that's completely fine. Just we want to be where your pelvis feels really comfortable and your arms are going to come over your head. So let's push the palms of your hands into the floor. Nose is hovering here. We're going to push the left hand down, engage the legs, pointing your toes, squeezing your glutes and reaching energy through the legs. We're gonna be moving the right arm, big breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna take that arm, swing it around, look over your shoulder and reach your fingertips to your feet. And then inhale, come back. We're sticking with the right arm. Exhale, reach around, inhale, down. Now the thing that you wanna be mindful of your shoulder creeping up into your ear here. Keep that shoulder blade reaching down, pushing down through the left hand. Legs are on, core is on. Exhale as you swing that arm around and down. Finding mobility in the upper back. Reaching past your fingertips, looking over your shoulder. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Lowering down. Reset on the other side. Now your right hand is going to push down into the floor, engaging those underarm muscles. Legs are on, core is on. Let's start to move with the left arm. Reach it around, look over your shoulder. This is great for your neck to get that rotation. It's not a move we do very often in our lives. And that range of motion often gets lost. Reach around on your exhale. Inhale back. Just moving with a lot of control, feeling that top shoulder uh, open, the shoulder blade pulls back behind you as you reach. Let's go for four more here. Last one. Bringing both hands down. 
Let's drop those shoulders away from the ears. They may have tried to sneak back up. Engage your abdominals like crazy. Turn your kneecaps down so we're parallel now. We're going to come into some full swimming. Not too fast, okay? So just a leisurely swim. <laughs> Floating the arms and the legs up. We're going to start to flutter them. Just a moderate pace, nothing extreme. Long, deep breaths here. And just being really aware of the space between the ear and the shoulder. You're reaching through your legs. Your legs are as parallel as they can be. And you're breathing. Thinking about the posterior chain, everything on the back side of the body. Your legs are nice and straight. Notice how you're anchored only by your torso now. Three more breaths. Letting that go. I'm going to open our arms wide. Bend your right knee so your foot is floating up. You're going to take that right foot and you're going to rotate it over your left leg. This is this called a scorpion stretch. So the um, left arm is long. You're getting a stretch through the front of your left shoulder. The right hand is just here for support. And we've, we've tipped over the right leg over the left. And hopefully you're feeling a nice big stretch through the front of your shoulder. Just breathing into that space. It can be pretty intense. And gently, gently you're going to roll back to be face down, bringing your leg back in line. Now the right arm goes long, the left hand is there for support. Left leg bends and then we roll over rotating that left leg over the right leg and then you should get a nice big open, open feeling through the right shoulder. If you're not feeling anything at all, you could try floating this other arm up or binding it behind you. For my shoulders, this is just plenty. So breathe into the front of the shoulder. Enjoy that nice twist in the spine. One more breath. And then gently undo that, bringing the leg back in line, rolling back to be face forward. And let's push all the way through to our shell stretch. Let your thighs go wide, let your tailbone drop to your heels, head rests, and just breathe really deeply into your lower back, into your rib cage. Notice that expansion and retraction of your, the shape of your torso as you breathe. And when you're ready, coming all the way through to your back. Legs will be long to start. And just checking in before we get started that your pelvis feels nice and neutral. You have a little bit of space between your lower back and the mat. Let's take your left hand and put it on your rib cage so you can feel your ribs. And your right hand's gonna go behind your head. This is just gonna be some feedback to let you know or let you observe what happens when we flex up. The rib cage drops down nice and heavy to create the flexion we need to get up into a sit up, okay? 
So, nod the chin gently, keep your head nice and heavy in your right hand. Let's flex up to look at our toes and notice what happens under your left hand. Your ribs should drop down. And back, let's try that again. Exhale as you flex up, notice your ribs connect and draw down. And let's just do that with the other side, right hand on the ribs, left hand behind the head. Nod your chin and exhale, flex up to look at your toes and just notice how those ribs knit down and connect and then how they move forward as we go back to the floor. So as we get into this next exercise, I just want you to be really mindful of that area that was just under your hands, okay? Really thinking about keeping it connected. Now both hands behind the head, reach through the body, draw in through the abdominals, exhale, let's flex up, looking at the toes, ribs drop, inhale, we lower down, exhaling up. We want to keep the chin off of the chest so we have space to breathe. Eyes go to the toes. We're just working that upper abdominal area right up under your rib cage. Big exhale, inhale down. Two more. Nice mobility in the upper back. On this last one, we're going to stay up, keeping those ribs down and connected. Start to march your legs up to tabletop. So we're staying as neutral as we can. The chin is still floating off of the chest, and we're maintaining that upper abdominal connection. Think about drawing your, your armpits to your hips. Engage those underarms. Big exhale, leg in. Inhale, reach. Can you come up a little higher? Last one. Pull in, reach out, lower, and you should feel a huge flush of warmth right up under the rib cage. All right, from here, we're gonna bring our feet planted, knees are bent. Right leg is gonna come to tabletop. We're staying as neutral as we can here, okay? So once that leg comes up, just reassess where your pelvis is. Let's bring the left arm long and the right arm is down beside you. We're gonna be coming up into a flexion and reaching this arm past our right leg. Nod your chin, reach up and flex. And back. Exhale, reach. And back. The whole time we're trying to maintain our neutral. over and over to the right. And we want to stay up there long enough that you feel that oblique light up. You still have length in your lower back. Exhale up. You're reaching past your left fingertips. Four more. Last two. Last one. And letting that go, switching the right arm goes overhead. Left arm comes down beside you and the left leg floats up into tabletop. So just checking in, making sure everything feels really balanced in your lower body, your pelvis is neutral. Let's drop that belly button down just a little bit, take a breath in. Exhale, flexing up and reaching across. Like you're trying to reach for something that you can't quite get. The chin is going to stay gently tucked here. 
Big exhale as you cross over past the left leg. Staying up long enough for that oblique to turn on. Four more. Last two. Letting that go, lowering the leg for a second, just shake that off. Rock your pelvis a couple of times. And we're finding our imprint, bringing the legs up to tabletop. We're going to come into our full obliques. The obliques are getting a real workout here this morning. Nod through the chin and flex up when you're ready. From here, you rotate, reaching one out, always rotating towards the knee that's coming in. And we take a pace that's not too fast, not too slow. Something in the middle. Exhale, reach through the leg. Keeping your eyes on your thighs. And you should feel like you're rolling through your mid-back. Nice strong imprint. And can we drop the belly button down just a little bit more? Elbows stay wide. Think about drawing your shoulder to your knee. Six more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees together, lowering the head, opening the arms, reaching the legs out long, but not completely straight. Keep a little bend. We're gonna flutter those legs. Think about the lowest part of your abdominals now. Nice strong imprint. This flutter less is more. Moving from the hip, the knees stay the exact same shape throughout. Three more breaths. I know you feel your hip flexors. We're going to unwind those next. Try to bring it more into the abdominals. One more breath. Awesome work. Bring your knees in. Roll around on your lower back a little bit. And let's plant our feet. You're going to want to have them just a little bit closer to the bum so that we can find a nice bridge. Arms are at your side, maybe a little bit wide. We're just going to be rolling up and down, finding our bridge. Imagine you're holding something between your knees like a block. Let's start neutral. Big breath in. Exhale from neutral. You roll through your imprint. Start to engage your legs and peel your spine off one vertebra at a time. We're not going to go too high. We want to keep it in the glutes and the hamstrings. Dropping the belly button down when you find your bridge. Take a breath. And then gently place your spine back down. Imagine your spine is sinking back into the floor one vertebra at a time. Keeping those knees nice and parallel. They're going to want to open. Keep imagining that, that imaginary block between your knees, rolling back to a neutral pelvis. Big breath in. Parallel legs. Roll through imprint. Peel the spine off, coming through the any sticky spots in your spine. Taking your time, big breath in. Exhale as you roll back down. Melting the spine down nice and gently and carefully. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna stay up in this next bridge. Big breath in and roll it up. Imprint first. Legs stay parallel. Roll it up, finding a nice strong bridge. Adjust as needed. 
floating your arms up. We're going to alternate lifting our heels. Exhale as you lift your heels, one at a time. Now you want to make sure you're not feeling your lower back here. If you, if you are, you want to bring those hips down a little bit, okay? Staying in a nice strong bridge. Just alternating our heels. Let's bring the arms overhead. Not on the floor, but just floating beside your head. And continue to lift your heels. Breathing. And let's float those arms back up to the ceiling. And just keep going with those heels. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Everything else stays the same shape. Three, two, one. Hold. And then bring your arms overhead and let them rest on the floor. And last one, we're going to roll our spine back to the mat. Stay parallel in the legs. One vertebra at a time. It should feel really nice to roll back down to the floor. Awesome work, you guys. Let's turn to your side and come all the way through to your knees. <clears throat> and from there, we're going to stand <clears throat> back up to our standing position. So you're going to want to be at the top of your mat so that you have room to step back. Okay. So, from here, we're going to be coming into some single-sided lunges. We're going to start with the right leg. We're going to step back and come up to a balanced position. Okay, so it looks like this. We say we come back. You could tap your knee if you want to. And then we stand tall to balance. Same leg. Both knees are bending as we come into this lunge. Hips are really square. Legs are parallel. And we're really driving the heel of the front leg down into the floor as we stand tall. Firing up that left leg. Squeezing the glute. And just seeing how much control we can put into this move. We want to take all the momentum out of it. Now your standing legs should be starting to feel warm. Four more like this. Three. Two. And on this last one, come to stand tall. If you need to put your toes down for a sec to balance, that's okay. We're going to bring the right foot in beside and touch it into the left knee. So you've got both legs are together, hands come to your hips. We're doing a standing clamshell, opening the thigh, bringing it back. Opening it and bringing it back. This is a small motion. Making sure you still have a micro bend in your left knee. Just challenging our balance. Squeezing that hip open with your right glute. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Letting that go. Shake it off. Bring both feet down to the floor. Let's nod the chin and roll down into a forward fold. Hug your knees. Bring your nose to you, towards your knees. Let your head be heavy. And then dropping the arms ragged all up like you're pulling those two weights back up. And roll your shoulders. We're going to work into that other side now. 
So your right leg will be your standing leg, left leg steps back, comes to balance. Drive the heel down. If, you meet, if you're finding the balance to be too much, just tap your toe. Nice strong stance. The right glute working really hard here. Hips are square. Can you just take out some momentum, control it down, press it up. Let's go for eight more here. Eight, seven, right leg should be warm. Six, five, four, check your abdominals. Three, two, on this last one, stay up. The foot comes in beside the right leg, hands to your hips, opening and closing the left hip like a clamshell. Open and back. Maintain a nice neutral pelvis and make sure that on the left side, your lower back hasn't hiked your hip up. The space between your ribs and your hips should be the same on both sides right now. Let's do six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Letting that go. Noticing the warmth in your glutes. Nod your chin, roll down, lifting the abdominals, softening the chest. We're gonna come through four sun salutations to finish. From here, we're gonna go halfway lift. Reach your spine long. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping out to your plank. Lower your knees, lower your chest, Come to upward dog. Draw your shoulders down, reach your chest forward. Tucking the toes, downward dog. Let's pedal out the feet. Lift the sit bones, strong shoulders. Let's bend both knees, walk your hands back to your feet. And ragdoll up to standing. Nod the chin, ragdoll down, walking back out to our plank. Lower the knees, lower the chest. Upward dog, downward dog. Pedal out the feet. Lifting through the tummy, bend both knees, walking your hands back to your feet, forward fold, and ragdoll up. Roll your shoulders, nod the chin, we roll down. Halfway lift, roll down, walking your hands out to plank. Lower the knees. Lower the chest, upward dog, tucking the toes, downward dog, pedaling up the feet. Check that your head is heavy, your neck is long, space between the ear and the shoulder, bending both knees, walking your hands back to your feet, forward fold and then dragging up through your rag doll. We have one more, nod the chin, roll it down. Halfway lift, walking your hands out to plank, reaching through the heels, lifting, 
and lowering the knees, lowering the chest. Upward dog, downward dog. Pedaling out the heels. From here, we're gonna pause with the pedaling and float your right leg up. Dragging it up and under you, taking a pigeon. Lowering the back leg, coming down into your forearms if that feels good. Breathing into your hip. Getting that nice big rotation. It can be really intense through the hip. Couple more breaths there. Reach the back leg back. Tucking the toes under with the back leg. We're coming back to downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Release the shoulder tension. Floating the left leg up. Dragging it underneath you, taking pigeon. Try to square off your shoulders, square off your hips. And just breathing into the hips. The back leg is reaching back. And one more breath there. Coming out of that into seated position and all the way through onto your back, bringing your right knee with you, giving it a nice little hug. So you're hopefully finding a little bit of hamstring. Let's keep the tailbone nice and heavy on that. And then allowing the right leg to get longer and turning your ankle. So hopefully getting a hamstring stretch here and then also mobilizing the ankle. And releasing that, drag your left leg in to, for a hug, reaching the right leg out. And then allowing that left leg to get long, finding your hamstring. So really important that your tailbone stays heavy here. You can feel your tailbone on the mat. And just turning that ankle. And both directions. Letting that go, coming to butterfly, opening the thighs, taking the, the palms of your hands and pushing them down into the very tops of your thighs, right where your hip bone meets, meets your hamstring or your quad, sorry, your quad, and pushing down gently, massaging the tissue in your hip flexors, almost like you're trying to push your legs away from you. Breathing deeply. And releasing that, opening up the arms, palms face up. And then let's wrap them up into eagle arms. And just gently move your elbows around. You could circle your elbows. And the other way. 
and then opening up the arms and wrapping them up the other direction, circling those elbows. And then letting those arms go back open wide. Closing your eyes for just a moment. Let's do three nice long breaths together. Big inhale. Exhale all the air out. And again. One more time. Bringing the legs back together, turning to your side, and coming up to seated. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you had a great workout, a uh, great way to start your Tuesday, and uh, I will see you at the next one. Thank you so much, guys.